Hello friends, this video on equilibrium part 34 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched all the previous parts. So we have seen that some acids are base or some electrolytes to be more specific dissociate more, maybe 100% for example HCl and NOH. While some of the weak acid and weak base, they disassociate less, right? maybe 1 or 2%. So the question is why? Why some of the acids are weak? Why some of them are uh, strong? What is the factor that determines whether a particular electrolyte is a, or acid is a weak acid or a strong acid? So the extent of the disassociation of acid that depends on strength and polarity of HE moments. For example, I have uh, HCl. So this H and Cl bond strength will determine the uh, the strength and the polarity of this bond will determine how much of this HCl will dissociate into H plus and C minus I. Correct. So if the strength is weak, then less energy is required to break it and the acid becomes a strong acid. For example, in HCl, the strength is weak. This H and Cl bond, the strength is weak, breaks easily. So it breaks easily into H plus and Cl minus I. So it is strong acid. Correct? So if it is, in, and this if bond is strong, it will require more energy to break and then this acid will be a weak acid. Right? So that is the strength. So when you talk about polarity, if this HA becomes, bond becomes more polar, that means if this uh, this guy, the Cl guy here or any other thing which is attached to H is more electronegative. The electronegative difference between the H and the A, A is the general one, increase. If the electronegative difference between H and A is decreased, it is easy to break the bond. It is easy to break the bond. So the acidity will increase obviously because see it's all about if there is a bond, HA bond, if it is easy to break the bond, the bond will be broken easily and it will be converted into HA plus and A minus ion easily. If it is difficult to break the bond, it will be difficult to form HA plus and A minus ion. Right? So the bond breakage depends on the strength of the bond and the polarity of the bond. Correct. So if you go down the group, actually the group is like this, fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine. If you go down the group, if you have, if you take one group as such, so if you see, if you go down the group, the size increase a lot, right? Because of the extra valence cell. We have discussed this in the uh, atom chapter. Size increase a lot, but the electronegativity is almost same, not much different. So if you go down the group, so in that case, the bond strength is more important because the electronegativity is almost same for all. So the electronegativity difference is almost same. So we don't, I mean, that doesn't make much difference because all same, but the bond strength differs. Because the size increase, size increase, if the size increase, the bond strength becomes weaker. For example, this is one size and this is one size. So this guy, this is one, this is two. Second acid is weaker than first because if the size is increasing for the this fluorine, chlorine, bromine, iodine, hydrogen size is the same, right? So if the size is increasing, this atom will not be able to hold the hydrogen atom properly, right? Because the size increase. So it will become weaker. So if you see uh, HF, HCl, HBr, and HI, HI is the strongest acid because the bond strength is less. But if you talk about uh, the element in the same row, for example, carbon, nitrogen, hydrogen, uh, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine in the acid is in the same uh, row, in the same row. So in that case, if you see size doesn't make much difference actually, you know, size is almost same. It doesn't make much, in fact, it decreases a little bit because of the attraction. But the polarity has a huge impact. The polarity or the electronegativity changes a lot. And that's why the electronegativity difference also changes a lot. Thus, if you move in the row, then this uh, strength is totally irrelevant because the size doesn't vary that much, but the polarity changes a lot. So when you are talking about the elements or the acids of the elements in the same row, the polarity plays a critical role 
or more important power and determine the asset strength. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.